Hello all, Micromanage here, and welcome to episode 8 of my FIFA 18 Liverpool career mode. Today we start off with a massive game as Chelsea visit Anfield looking to put a spanner into our title aspirations. They're not doing as well in the league, Hazard's doing very well, he's second top scorer, but them as a team not doing so well while we're top of the table and going along nicely with the game in hand over United, although it is this game. After that we will face trips to the Bet365 and the Annex to take on Stoke and Brighton respectively. Looking to get 9 points out of today if we can, We've got us at the tone with this performance against Chelsea, nothing less than a win will do, so let's see how we get on. It's a wet, gloomy afternoon at Anfield, but the atmosphere will be electric. It always is for Liverpool and Chelsea games, a rivalry that spans back to the 2005-2008 to years, when Mourinho and Benitez were in charge, and there were multiple Champions League semi-finals and league games. We actually had a bit of a stick on Chelsea back then, we were a good bogey team for them and got usually positive results against them when no one else really could. Since then, obviously, it's been Chelsea dominance. They won the league last year and have won a few titles since then. Liverpool hasn't won the league in God knows how many years, which no one ever reminds me of. Uh, we line up with a full strength lineup with Karius Klein, Matip Kubali, and Ben Davies as usual back four and goalie. Lalana, Coutinho, and Henderson in midfield three with Salah, Bobby, and Mane looking to get at this rather strong Chelsea defensive lineup. I'm wondering if they're going to play their five at the back. Yes, they are. Uh, Courtois in goal with Moses, Aspilicueta, Cahill, David Luiz, and Alonso making up the back. Fabregas and Kante making a very strong midfield partnership. And Pedro, Costa and Hazard up front. Costa shouldn't even be playing. He should be at Atletico Madrid. But I'm not going to hold that against him as long as he doesn't score. We really need a win here, boys. I want to get one over on them. Come on, let's do this. I've got to keep a trap on Ed in. Cannot let him get too into it today. Good tag from Salah on Marcus Alonso. Really has been the surprise package, actually. Since, kind of, since Conte signed him, he's been excellent. Good ball down the line to Diego Costa. He's putting a good shot. That's a good save from Carrius down to his right-hand side. Chelsea looking dangerous. They've started the better. That little zip in our play just isn't quite there today. There's some really, really schoolboy errors going on. Matip composed against Hazard there. A little bit too much. We're giving the ball away again and Kante is on it. You can't afford to let Kante run through. Pedro. And it's 1-0 Chelsea. Oh, it's 1-0 Chelsea. Sums up our display so far. Sloppy, really sloppy. We give the ball away. Kante is as good as any midfielder in the Premier League going forward. Well, not going forward, but doing the uh, dirty work. And Pedro has buried that in the left hand corner. Well, the right hand corner for Carrius, but left if you're watching it from there. He's got no chance. Poor Carrius is stranded. And our, uh, our credentials are being put up to the test here. Pedro scored. It's 1 0 to the Blues. And they've been by far the better team. They deserve it. No, wrong fucking ball. Wrong fucking ball, Adam. lana has been so poor in this first half. He's been so poor. And it shows the depth, strength and depth that Chelsea have got. And how has he got through that? It could be a good block there in the end by uh, by Klein. But we are being pulled all over the park here. We just haven't started in this first half at all. It's been absolutely dire. This is much better now. Salah against Louise. Mo, summing up his season really, just sometimes it's just inconsistent. And how has Henderson not bloody won that? He's just gone down like a bloody lump of spuds and he's injured. Brilliant. Terrific. Our captain is down. Our team is down. We have been piss poor all game. I mean, what's, what's happened there? Allergic to grass, Hendo. Come on, mate. It's an attacking change. You'll be surprised by the formation, but we're going to go 4-2-4. 4-2-4. Hendo's come off. Briel's gone up front with uh, Bobby Firmino and Salah and Mane either side. So at the moment, it's literally just Coutinho and Lallana in the midfield. Oh, and there's Adam giving the ball away. What a surprise. Briel. Go on, Adam. You're just like you, mate. Ah! Oh! It would have been just like him to shut me up, but it's a poor finish. Oh, one nil to Chelsea at the break. They've been by far the better team. I'm hoping that the attacking change of four two four is going to mix this up for us, but so far, been second best for out. Got to get it wide. We didn't get it wide enough in the uh, in the first half. He says as he goes through the middle. 
Salah's turned it. He's teed it. Oh, you tits, Mane. Oh, it was going to fall to Donald and Polo. Oh, God, that's frustrating. Away we go. Coots on the break. See Salah now. Come on. This has got to be a good touch. Just. Mmm. Mane, good interception. Win that ball back. Move, Coots. Man for the occasion! Oh! Fuck you, Courtois! <laughs> it's a damn good save. They're just not making any runs in behind. Lana. Lana. Just pass it off, Adam! Right, he's coming off. He's coming off. He's coming off. Useless, mate. Uh, is anyone going to tackle William? Is anyone going to attempt to tackle him? Well done, Joel. And. And, oh my god, how have we got through that? I just I just expected it to fall to a Chelsea player there, the way today's gone. Honestly, I'm absolutely seething at this performance. I'm absolutely seething. Even that there is just piss poor. We've just done nothing. Bottle job. Absolute bottle job. We've had some annoying defeats so far in this career mode. Not many, but... Every defeat we've had has been annoying. This one was well and truly deserved. We were just awful throughout. Just genuinely awful. It's probably the worst performance I think I've ever done on FIFA, actually. I, I didn't create anything. We didn't move. The players weren't up for it. Only Coutinho can probably walk away with his head. Hold on. Adam Alana's not playing for another two weeks. I can tell you that right now. He was he's sh shameful. It was that bad. It was so bad. The stats will tell you the story of the game. We were just awful today. Chelsea thoroughly deserved their win. They've come and done a job on us. I couldn't handle their five at the back formation. Hazard was actually quite quiet throughout, but Costa and Pedro in particular just tore us a new one. The 4-2-4 didn't work. Salah was awful. Lalana was horrendous. Um, the back five did okay, but we just didn't do enough today. Really disappointed. I'm going to have to stick a parental advisory sticker on this episode. My language in that last game was horrendous. So apologies for that. What else is horrendous? Jordan Henderson's out with a dislocated shoulder for eight weeks, even though he landed on his knee. So that's an interesting one. EA still haven't really obviously calculated general anatomy mechanics. I'm not sure how you dislocate your shoulder from landing on your uh, on your legs, but there you go. We travel to the Betfree 6-5 against Stoke and really need to put that from that performance against Chelsea behind us, because God, that was bad. It's put us in a precarious position now. We're only three points over United with level games. If we could have done it, could have gone six ahead. And this is going to be a difficult game. Stoke are fourth on the table, high flying, and obviously the surprise package of the season. Sparky's doing a good job, better than he is in real life. You might be down to the job centre soon, mate, sadly. Uh, they are lining up with a five at the back formation as well, which could be problematic. Butler and goal, Vidma, Vima, Zuma, Shawcross and their beat as the back five. Cameron and Julian Weigel, which is a good signing in the midfield. Shakiri, Sobi and Barahino up front. Saido always provides a bit of problems on FIFA. He's very good in the game and usually gets a few goals. For us, a few changes. Uh, Joe Gomez comes in at left back. Looking for him to put in a side performance with Emery Chan and Genie Wijnaldum coming in for the very disappointed Lalana. Human Sun comes in for the also. Salo didn't play very well in the last game, but Mane's moved over to the right. So we need a response. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. And, oh my Christ, Koulibaly has given the ball against Berahino already. He's whipping that ball in. Klein's got to get to it. He hasn't. Weejo is there to... Uh... Oh, there's two Weejos today. For anyone that doesn't know, that's my, my Brendan Rodgers impression. It's Weejo. Weejo Allen. Great player. Fantastic talent. And the Sun is here. He's through on the go. It's a great turn from Sun. Bend that in, Sun. Oh, I'm, I'm celebrating A for the pun and B because Roberto Firmino has banged that in. Get in. All about Son and all about the Brendan Rodgers impressions. But get in. We scored early. We're back, back at it. That man again in the right place at the right time. Son with the lovely little fake shot to cut inside. It's a great effort and unlucky. And Bobby's done well there after he gets completely clotheslined by Jack Butland's head as he gets up. Look at that. Oh, my word. Good finish. Good start. After being quite sloppy at the back and nearly conceding at one end, we've uh, we've gone up the other and scored. It's classic Liverpool. And that's eight goals in the league for Roberto Firmino. Chuffed. It is quiet at the bet 365. Coots to Sun. Can't let him do it again. Oh, he's turned him. 
He's teed it back to Genie. He's going to have a crack. Oh, that's a good save from Butland. And Human Sun on this left-hand side is a sensational outlet. They can't stop him cutting back onto his right foot. Bobby. This is lovely football. If it goes in, what a goal that is. Is that Kula Bali? What the hell is he doing up there? Who cares? It's his first goal for the club. There's a striker's finish. Oh, it's Genie. Genie. What am I talking about? So I thought I'd make Kula Bali number five. Apologies to all that. I thought I'd rename. I thought I'd renumber them um, Genie as 26, and I'd add uh, Kula Bali as number five because I usually like it to be my centre back. Either way, Genie. It's a great finish, mate. Well done. Lovely, lovely goal. Coots to Genie. To Bobby. Oh, it's a good save from Butland again. Bobby. Oh. Oh, it's Joel. God, I'm getting my names all mucked up today. Either way, it's 2 0 at half time. We've done really, really well there. Genie has been excellent, actually. When I've got his name right, when I've remembered who he is, um, and that he was actually playing, he's been excellent. Stoke doing well there. If they get a goal, it's going to be a little bit troubling again, but they ain't going to get it down the side that Joe Gomez is on, let me tell you. Look at that! Oh, that pass! This is wonderful. Slightly lowered now, but Sun to Bobby. To Genie. To Mane. To oh, what a goal that is! Oh, get in, Sun. And well done, Human. Um, what a goal. The football. Ah, oh, just sometimes. Ah, oh, I'm speechless. I don't know why, but that might be one of my favourite goals. The ball to set Sun off initially down the line was superb. And then the little play, the patience, and then the clinical nature. That's three goals for Sun in probably about, about three or four appearances, I think. When he starts, he scores. Maybe Salah is not going to get back in the team at this rate. It's been sensational, son. Well, I said I wanted a response, and the boys haven't shied away. I don't want to lose the clean sheet, though. And that's a really poor finish. But that's it. Glad we kept a clean sheet for a start. But more importantly, very, very happy with the win itself. There are boos ringing around the bet 365, but I don't think Sparky can have any complaints. His team was well and truly outdone today by just some good football from the uh, from the Reds. Genie was at the heart of it when I remembered who he was. Um, so I do apologise, Genie. I, I hope you get them out of the match, mate. Berahino gave us a little bit of trouble at the start. Um, but overall, very, very happy. We, um, we controlled that game, I think. Sun was excellent as well. As expected, Genie did get man of the match, but Firmino, Coutinho and Son not too far behind, all getting over a 9 rating. A bit harsh on Trent to get a 5.8 when he came on, and for Solanke to get a 6.4. They barely touched the ball, which isn't really their fault. Did really, really well in the game. Absolutely delighted with the result, and i um, very pleased that the guys have managed to pull that out of the bag. Lallana and Co are going to find it hard to get back in the team after a performance like that. Why couldn't we perform like that against Chelsea? because Chelsea are a little bit better than Stoke, regardless of what the table might say. That was a big win for us. We needed that. We had an offer from the Uruguayan national team to be their manager. Uh, we turned it down. The only one I'm really interested in is the Belgian job, especially if Romelu Lukaku is getting player of the month quite regularly. Um, he'd be one hell of a strike force to have. But I'm not sure how I feel about the national team in this series. It might be something we do in a, in a road to glory or something like that. I do have some plans for something similar to that later on. Anyway. I digress. Back to uh, back to the action. Trip to the Annex to take on Brighton. We're sitting in 15th place. They're not doing too badly at all, really. You know, they're, they're outside the relegation places, and that's really all they can ask for. Phil Coutinho is apparently the man to watch, and I really need him to start performing like he was earlier on in the season. He's gone quiet for a few games. I know you can't keep up relentless 9.5 ratings every single game, but I need him to. Um... <laughs> Brighton lineup with Krull in goal, Shalotto, Duffy, Hoenmeyer, and Marin as the back four. Forrest, Alvarez, Proper, and Iscaretta as the midfield, with Brown in behind Lacadia, who I think is a very good signing. Glenn Murray's done well in real life, but Brighton do struggle for goals, so getting in a striker that's going to get you some of them is good. James Forrest is also a very good signing. For us, a few changes Karras is in goal with Alexander Arnold and Joe Gomez, partnering Kula Bally and Ben Davis in the back. 
It's the same midfield three as the previous game, with Genie maintaining his place and Chan slightly further forward. Salah, Bobby and Son also start up front. They did really, really well did the job, so the only real change is bringing in Trent for Klein to give him a rest. Trent's been very good in recent games, so I'm hoping he can continue that. Let's get the three points, guys. Emery Chan getting back on the ball. And there's a Brighton player down, but I think he'll be all right. Looks like there's Aya Brown from, uh, from the hair. And this is a chance here. Coutinho. Oh, my word. If that had gone in. Didn't even need to take a touch. He just belted it. An absolute rocket. And Bobby there trying to actually sl slide a ball through to Salah. The little Brazilians are linking up here. Bobby's turned his man. It's a good effort, but it's a good save there from Tim Krull. Joe Gomez. Gomez. Oof. I can see you, Coots. Must be. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. And we finally found some space around him behind. Bobby's done well. And is it? Ah! Oh, just wide from Coutinho. We've started this second half on fire at the moment. We've really come out with a purpose. We're doing some lovely little turns here to make ourselves some room. Genie. Bobby, get in, there's one. We've finally broken through. Get in. Bobby Firmino again, the man. Lovely play by Genie. The lovely little pirouette turns in the middle of midfield. I've done it. It's a lovely run. Great take to get it onto his right foot. And he's hammered that past Cruel. Stonking shot from Firmino. And we take the lead. 1-0. I have to say, it probably is deserved. Brighton haven't done too much. And you kind of think that now the game will open up a bit. And maybe we can hopefully get a few more. That will be his ninth goal of the season. He's nearly at the double figures mark. You're doing well, Bobby. Keep it up, son. We're rigging the changes after that goal as well. Time to give the guys a rest. Bobby Coutinho and Son are all coming off. And Bolo, Lalana, and Ben Woodburn is coming on. I haven't had a real chance to use him yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Alexander-Arnold. through to Mbolo, he's played a lovely ball through to Emre Chan. 2 0, good goal, lovely goal. Good finish by Chan, he celebrates with the fans. There was a lovely ball through from Mbolo, that must be really heavy on poor old Emre there. Mbolo's a big lad, but Emre's got big, sexy shoulders. Um, that's a superb goal. Uh, I have a little bit of a love for Emre Chan, I just think he's just amazing, and he's just one of the most well groomed men I think I've ever seen. Uh, that is a sensational finish into the bottom corner. 2-0. We were worrying that Brighton might get back into it, but as quick as a flash, we put an end to the game. And that's his first goal in the Premier League. What an Emre. Playing well today. Good man. Poor. But there you go. It's a 2-0 win. It's um, anything but anything but easy. Actually, I have to say, Brighton gave us a really good game there. And if their finishing boots had been on, probably could have ended up being a draw, maybe even a win to them. We were quite poor throughout, but... We got the result, and at the end of the day, I said at the start of the game, that's all that matters, and it really is. Cham was my man of the match, thought he was excellent today, really, really good. Um, his hair is looking pristine, his beard is immaculate, the man is excellent. Please don't leave him in real life, I really want you to stay, Emre, please stay. Good win for the boys. As you can see, the majority of the team played well. Bobby actually got FIFA's man of the match, but I'm going to give mine to Emre Chan for a goal and just a general all-round, all-action performance. I thought he was really, really good today. Mbolo played well as well when he came on. Sun was good and Coutinho was good. Salah, meh, okay, but apart from that, excellent. Joe Gomez as well gets an honourable mention. Well, we certainly finished the episode a lot stronger than we started, that's for sure. Two comfortable wins to follow up on that Chelsea defeat. Leave us with a mixed episode. I'm still a little bit sad about the Chelsea result, to be honest. In the next episode, we have Dortmund in the Champions League in a game that doesn't really matter. We've already won the group and qualified, so I might sim it. I haven't decided yet. Uh, then there's the big Merseyside derby against Everton at Anfield which I am looking forward to I didn't like the result in real life so I need to rectify that and then we have a home game against West Brom I might fit the Bournemouth game in depending on what happens with the Dortmund game like I said I kind of want to play the reserves and play every game for you guys but at the same time I kind of want to get this season of the career mode over quite quickly because I think it looks like we're going to do quite well better than I expected so it might be a short career mode this is more of a tester than anything else and I want to get stuck into a bigger project to leave you of where we are in terms of the table, we are six points clear, but United have a game in hand, so let's assume that they win that. It basically means that we are where we started at the start of the episode. 
of course, because that's where we started. <laughs> so, yeah, we are three points ahead without the game in hand, so we've kind of gone a little bit backwards, but at the end of the day, we're, we're staying ahead, that's all that matters. 13 wins from 15 games is impressive, and only eight goals conceded. I would have bit your hand off for that at the start of the season. That is how much I back myself. Um, thank you very much for watching the episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more content coming out in 2018. Happy New Year to everyone as well. I did forget to mention that. And thank you for all the support. Hopefully this will be a really big year for the channel and I can continue to help it grow with all your support. I just enjoy making the videos, so I hope you guys enjoy the, watching them with me as well. Um, thank you very much again. Until I see you again, stay cool.